Following the attack on a train station in Ugweben, a local government area of Edo State by yet to be identified armed gunmen who reportedly kidnapped passengers waiting to board at the station, Edo State heading to Wari Delta State. The state governor has directed security agencies in the state to ensure the release of all kidnapped passengers within 72 hours. State Deputy Governor and some others believe the directive to be productive with the rescue of two children who were abandoned by the kidnappers at the as the search for the victims continue. As at yesterday, the CP and all the security chief, the vigilante, the hunters have all been deployed and they are, and we are already doing something. There are certain things I cannot tell you now, but what is key is that it will be too hot for anybody to attempt to do what they uh, tried to do yesterday. We have a well thought out security architecture here, so it's here it no, cannot be a base for terrorists or kidnapper, whatever they call themselves. So. We do not want to say too much now, but one thing is that we have relocated to this place and by the grace of God, until we get resolved, we are not living here. Well, I, like I said, we, there are no way we would have expected that a thing like this would ever happen. There was nothing that, uh, if, of course, if there was, a lot of measures would have been taken. There was no way anybody would have known that people would go to stray from somewhere. These are obviously not issues of our people. I'm not making case for them, but for fillers, they are obviously not edition of these local governments. And others who spoke believe that more should have been done to forestall a recurrence of such incident in train stations across the country. If you see what is happening here now, you see that there is more that needed to be done even before now. All these bushes also will be taken back 200 or 500 meters away from the premises of this uh, train station. And I think this urgently has to be done. They have to bring the security cameras, let the security cameras be working, because what I've discovered now is that the security cameras, as it were, were not functioning. So these are ways and measures to really keep put the security back from this place. You know, and the, the painful thing is there's uh, there are cameras all here, but which we all know they, they mostly don't work, uh, from what I heard, and even when they work, there's no light, so it's uh, it's so sad. You know, security operatives are in the forest right now trying to comb this bush, uh, looking for some of these people. But again, a better job could have been done if we had a chopper, a helicopter using a bird's eye view. I mean, how far could these people have gone with uh, such large number of people? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.